there's no big... No big Uh, we have seen some very heavy rainfall uh, already starting from Friday but also overnight uh, in uh, the northern rivers uh, but also southeast Queensland. Um, some of those heaviest falls that we've seen overnight was 334 millimetres at Lower Springbrook and the heaviest being just north of the border with 475 millimetres at Upper Springbrook. So some very heavy rainfall has already fallen and resulted in flash uh, flooding and um, a number of rescues. So some very dangerous conditions that we've already seen. Now for the northern rivers and mid-north coast areas, we will see a return of the heavy rainfall. So currently we are um, seeing relatively calm conditions, but very important um, to be aware that we are expecting heavy rainfall to start again for the northern rivers and mid-north coast areas with widespread totals of 100 to 200 millimetres uh, expected uh, for those regions. Now we also have um, very strong damaging winds across the uh, northern coast. Now that is coinciding with king tides. This means that we have a greater risk of coastal erosion and coastal inundation. So that's yet another risk of being very mindful of the damaging surf conditions that we are also having. But again, the key concern is the heavy rainfall that we are expecting starting tonight and into tomorrow with very heavy rainfall expected for the northern rivers and mid-north coast areas. This will also have localised intense heavy rainfall, again uh, increasing that risk of flash flooding, but of course um, also have a number of uh, flood warnings out. It's been a very busy time for the New South Wales State Emergency Service over the last 48 to 72 hours. Uh, firstly in the mid-north coast area and particularly last night moving up into northern ri rivers that has been outlined. Uh, we've done about four uh, flood rescues, we've done fl four flood rescues and made sure that people are safe and those people I'm informed are safe and well. We've also evacuated around 20 caravans uh, in anticipation at the Mwilumbar showground just to get them to higher ground and safe, a uh, safe location. I'd take this opportunity to remind people uh, the weather as outlined is quite, um, uh, going to be quite heavy over the next few days with the effects of flooding in a large number of areas of those rivers that have been outlined. It's not a time to take a chance and drive through those floodwaters. It does put yourself in danger as well as my SES volunteers that need to come out to the call. We've had around, over this full event, 700 calls for assistance and particularly last night uh, it was a busy time of over 200 calls. Uh, we have also sent uh, additional crews up into the Northern Rivers District to assist that community with preparation and, if needed, any evacuations and particularly uh, door knocking in those areas where people are at risk of having their houses flooded. There's been a, uh, with the rain, there's been a large amount of uh, strong winds as well, so our crews have been particularly busy in relation to um, reports of roof damage and leaking into houses. So um, I would remind people of cleaning out the gutters if they can before these heavy rains come again, just preparing your house to make sure that there's no loose items around. Uh, as I said, don't dr drive through the flood waters. Be very careful because it is quite... Um, deceptive in relation to the depth of when you're going into those uh, flood waters and it can change very quickly with these heavy amounts of rain that are coming. We are also warning those people who might be going on holidays, uh, obviously everyone after the restrictions for COVID-19 have been lifted want to get out and about across the state and travel. Uh, be very careful where you're going to, plan ahead and as Justin said always look at and be up to date with the Bureau of Meteorology's website 
SES has information there and a link through to the website as well and we will be um, communicating with the communities that may be in danger to let them know. So be aware of your surroundings, be aware of where you might be parking a caravan or you may be driving and listen to those warnings that are put out by the New South Wales SES. I remind people of the numbers to ring, so if you need assistance from the SES, ring 132 500, but if it is life-threatening, please ring 000.